Hey there, crew. Welcome back. My name is Mark and I go by Men Who Bullet. And if you're anything like me and have a hard time figuring out what to do with washi tape, today's video is for you because we are going to cover 16 different ways to functionally use washi tape inside of your bullet journal. Let's get started with number one. If you need to cover large spans of time inside of your journal, washi tape is a really great way to do that. It gives a really cool visual look. You can add in the title of what's happening during that time frame without having to create any extra marks on your page. The second functional way that you can use washi tape inside of your journal is to use it as a way to accentuate something on your page. It's kind of like an extra exclamation point. Use a color or a pattern you might have to call out something big and important you need to do, like watering your plants. The third way you can use washi inside of your journal is to use it as a page divider. Run it all the way across your page quick, easily, cut it off at the end, and now you can go ahead and start your next section. You can use this with your daily logging or even to separate tasks from notes. The fourth way you can functionally use washi tape in your journal is to create a really quick and easy flag. All you have to do is cut off a piece and then at the bottom cut two diagonal lines. This will create a cool flag. You can pop this in an overview or inside of your daily log and call out something important like a team happy hour. A fifth way you can functionally use washi in your bullet journal is to use it for headers. Just pull a piece across, cut it off where you have it, put events, days of the week, or anything else you need to call out. If you use your bullet journal for work or anything personal, this sixth way of using your washi tape can be super helpful. Use it to cover any sensitive information you might write down inside of your journal, especially if you carry around your notebook at work, you're in meetings, there is certain information that might be sensitive. Number seven, you can create a really quick and easy frame or a call out box inside of your journal. You could use this for your daily top three, or if you have a special collection page, you wanna create a to-do list or a bucket list with. This is a really fun and easy way to use washi while still being functional. Number eight, visually identify a collection page or something important in your journal by wrapping the washi on the edge. You don't have to do the entire page, even just a small tap can make a big visual difference. Just make sure you're paying attention to what's on the other side of that page. And if you need to, start there to make sure you're not covering anything up when you wrap the tape around. While everything is supposed to be inside of your bullet journal, sometimes you just don't have it with you and you write things down on another piece of paper. This ninth way to use washi inside of your journal is called tipping it in. You can use it to simply tape in a piece that you have at the top or on the side to create a fold out or a fold in page. If you like the way tipping in works, but you're really good about putting things in your journal, create a faux tip in if you want to with the 10th way to use washi in your journal. Place a piece of washi tape in the center of your page and then draw a square all the way around it to make it look like a piece of paper. You could even add a drop shadow if you wanted to, to give it a little extra visual flair. Number 11, use washi tape to cover up your mistakes. It can even look intentional like we did earlier with our headlines. Cover it up with some extra washi and write right next to it and keep going on your page. Tip number 12, use your washi as a sticker. Sometimes your washi tape may have patterns or images already on them. Cut them out, add them straight to your page, put a title next to it if you want to. It looks more like a sticker than a piece of washi and that looks pretty cool. Go that extra step and use it to tip in something inside of your journal. It looks super cool and depending on the design, it can actually look like it meant to be there. If we're being realistic, sometimes the washi we have or comes inside of sets isn't all of our style, but here's ways that you can still use it inside of your journal. This works really great with thin washi. Tip number 13 is to use it to mask out a font. Put a piece across your page and then using a thicker marker right over top of it, a day of the week, notes, task. Then remove that washi off of the page and you can write on the inside of that blank space to give it a really cool double font look. If you have other washi that's not quite your style, tip number 14 is to use it to mask out a design. Paint or color around it if you want to or create a really cool line pattern, then remove that and you have a really cool boxed header to kick off your week. We're almost at the end. Tip number 15 is to use washi that you don't necessarily prefer to hold down your stencils. This way you don't have to worry about messing up on your stencil. It can hold it nice and straight and you can go ahead and remove that washi when you need to and just toss it away. If you've ever tried to stress oxide, using washi that you don't love with stencils is another great way to use it. That way you can fully block out what you don't wanna get any ink on and then make sure you're inking exactly what you need. Remove it off your page and toss it and you're good to go. All right, here's our final one. Tip number 16 is to buy functional washi. There's actual washi tape out there that has schedules, check boxes, days of the weeks, and dates that you can easily add to your notebook. This works wonderfully for setting up real quick schedules, monthly overviews, or just your quick days of the week if you want to. If you have fun and functional ways that you like to use washi inside of your journal, make sure to leave a comment in the section down below. We love to share as a part of this community and find new ways to use different things inside of our journals. I'll talk to you next time. See ya.